Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this ribbon shape using Elementor free version. You can use it on your pricing table or anywhere of your website. So first I will show you how to create this ribbon shape using Elementor free version and then I will show you how to use this ribbon shape to a real pricing table. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. So to take a new section, let's click on this plus icon here. I'm taking this three column structure. Let's now give it a height from here. So I'm setting minimum height and let's give it 100 VH. Now here I'm selecting this middle column because first I want to add some spacing. So go under advanced tab and from here I'm adding 25 pixel of padding. And then within this column, let's click on this plus icon here. I'm dragging an inner section and let's delete one of the inner columns from here. So now you only have one column within this inner section. Let's now give this inner section a height from here. I'm setting minimum height. The 400 pixel height is fine. Now let's go under the style tab because from here open the border. I want to give it border radius. Let's add 20 pixel of border radius and let's add some box shadow from here i'm adding 40 blur and some negative spread so minus 10. all right now on the left top corner here i wanna show the ribbon shape to do it the first thing we need to do we need to select this inner section then go under its advanced tab from here we need to add a class here i'm adding the class name it would be my pricing and remember the p would be in capital so you need to write the exact class name my pricing the p on capital letter if you don't write exactly this class name it won't work all right now the second thing we need to add here a heading widget to do it just click on this plus icon here i'm dragging a heading widget now here the html tag i'm making it span then go under its advanced tab because here we need to add another class name it would be my ribbon again you need to write exactly this class name my ribbon the r on the capital letter and then i will make its color to transparent color so we cannot see it in real so go under the style tab open the color picker just drag the bottom bar to the very left now we cannot see it because the color is now transparent. Basically we are using it as a span tag and we have added the class name my ribbon here. Now we will be some custom CSS snippet with the inner section and to add that snippet we will be using the HTML widget. So let's click here on this Rubik's Cube icon and I'm searching here HTML. Here you go, this is the HTML widget. We can drop it anywhere of the page because it doesn't matter. The HTML widget only be shown within the Elementor page builder. On the real website, the HTML codes won't be shown. So here I'm dragging the HTML widget at the bottom of the page in this place. Then within this field, we will be pasting some code snippet. To get the code, we just need to go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will put this pages link in the description from that page under ribbon shape CSS. Just copy this whole chunk of snippet. So from here, I'm copying it. Let's copy it and then go inside Elementor and paste the code inside this HTML field. And here we go. We can see the beautiful ribbon shape here. Now, if you want to change this most popular text with any other text, you can change that from here. You see it says text. Then within this quotation, first I'm removing the most popular text. Let's say you want it to say best deal. Now here the best deal is showing. Then if you want to change this bluish color, you can change that from here. It says first color. Now let's say if you change it to any other hex code or you can just simply write any color name. I'm writing here red. You see the color is now becoming red color. But let's have a look here. The corners color are not changed. So to change this corner and this corner color, let's open the bar from left. We need to change the second color from here. Here. only for example here I'm giving the second color to black color so here I'm typing black you see now the corners color has become black so you can use your favorite colors here but I have a suggestion for you 
always use the deeper color here on the main color for example here instead of red if i put the black color hex code hash 000000, 000 then on the second color you should use a lighter color than black so here i'm putting a lighter color that's hash 555555 now have a look it looks more realistic but of course it's up to you you can put any color as the first color and any color as the second color the way you want now let me show you another thing here our main sections background color is white color but let's say if you want to use any other color rather than this white color so let's select this outer main section go to its style tab from the background type here i'm selecting another color instead of the white color so i'm selecting this paste color now have a look if you have a closed look we can see the first black color here but we cannot see the second colors i mean the corners colors here and here so to fix it whenever you are using any other color rather than the white color on the main section on that time make sure you have selected the main section go under its advanced tab and from here you need to put a higher number on the z index so i'm putting here five now we can see the corners here and here at the top cool now i will show you how to use this ribbon shape on the real pricing table but before that i just want to announce another thing i take web services orders from my website so if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will try my best to help you personally all right let's go back inside our tutorial now from here first i wanna delete the section we have just created so click on this x to delete it also i wanna delete the html widget so let's delete this entire section from here as well now let's appear here a pricing table that we previously made and here is the real pricing table by the way i have a complete step-by-step -step tutorial how to make this amazing pricing table using elementor free version i will put that tutorials link in the description or you can just click on the top right corner on that i icon to watch that step-by-step -step tutorial all right now within this middle pricing table i wanna add the ribbon here on the top left corner so you know first we need to select this inner section so let's select it go under its advanced tab here let's add the class name it would be my pricing and then you know we need to add another heading widget so click on this rubik's cube icon and here i'm dragging the heading widget at the top of this three bottle text here and then let's make its html tag to span go under advanced tab here i'm adding the class name it would be my ribbon now you know just go under style tab and from here i'm making the text color to transparent color then similar like before click on the rubik's cube icon and here i'm searching for html so here's the html widget i will be dropping the html widget at the empty place here then again go inside jimfahaddigital.com from under ribbon shape css just copy the whole css snippet like before now then go back inside elementor and paste the css snippet inside the html field here now if we have a look on the middle pricing table we can see the ribbon here and you already know how to change the text from here the first color and second color from inside this field so we are pretty much done we just need to check how it's looking on tablet and mobile device so from the bottom left corner click on the responsive mode first let's click on the tablet icon so here everything is looking great but i think we need to adjust this heading so the ribbon will pop up more or it won't be overlapped with the heading so let's select the heading go under its style tab from here open the typography instead of 24 i'm making it 20 pixel and also go under advanced tab unbind the margin at the top instead of 50 i'm adding here 70 pixel so we can do the same with other two heading to make their design synced so just right click over this heading click on copy then right click over on other headings and click on paste style let's do the same here click on paste style so they are now looking perfect on tablet device and if we go to mobile device on the mobile device they are already looking great so we don't need to do any other thing with this pricing table 
from top click on this x to exit the responsive mode and finally when you are happy just click on this green update button to save your work i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel once again thank you so much for watching this tutorial i will see you in the next video for now bye bye